Thank you for tuning in and welcome to Aaron Painting. Today we are going to take a closer look at the ongoing Dungledorf Kickstarter. We are going to browse the Kickstarter page at the end of this video, but first of all We've been fortunate enough to get some uh, some preview stuff from Nigi and Nana from King Games. Uh, and it's in this box that we haven't opened yet, so we're really hyped. <laughs> and as you can hear, I'm here with uh, Mother Nurgle. Hello. And yeah, let's get this bad boy opened. Some stickers. Oh, it was already open. <laughs> A letter in Danish, which I will uh, not read out loud, but um, <laughs> it's uh, it's telling me that this is some uh, prototypes, resin prototypes, uh, and there might be some small uh, what do you call it um, errors and stuff that will be fixed when they are cast in metal. And we have wow, it's a big box. A box that says Peacock on it. It's a mug. <laughs> it's a mug. It's, oh, that is lovely. I yeah. absolutely adore it. With the Dungledove logo and then the Prancing Peacock logo. That is nice. I'm really happy about that. Thank you. Purses, I guess. Wow! Nice! These are... Sweet! Yeah. They're from the first Kickstarter. Yeah, I believe so. We didn't really have a look at what's left in here. So, <laughs> some pliers? Some pliers for the oh. crew. Stickers. <laughs> Dungledorf stickers. Art cards. Here's the prompts and peacock, the inn. Some of the stretch goals we're going to look at in a moment. The mutant. Mutant. I love him. Yeah. And also the nobleman. The nobleman. He's really cool. All right, so this will probably be actual miniatures. And as again, these are uh, resin masters. Yes. So uh, there might be small errors on them that will be fixed when they're cast in uh, in metal. All right, basils. We have the mutant. He is a lovely model, and I really like the the Mordheimy feel to him. Not very subtle, though. Not very subtle indeed. Of all the mutations you can get, and we have been. I'm so happy about this. The nobleman. The nobleman. <laughs> I don't really see any errors in these two, no. so. Uh, if they're like this, just in metal, I think they'll be really great. Yeah. The peacock itself. Not sure what to do with that. It's a quite an um, exotic familiar. Yeah, but you never know. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> Some groceries. I think they're about to unlock, actually. They were. That will be a great addition to all the chests and barrels we already have. Yeah, and speaking of barrels, there is a large barrel of ale. Yeah, and when Nana painted that up, I, I noticed that there were three X's. Yeah, Buckman's. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I'll probably do the same. And, and yeah, bases. And bases. Yes. Wow, that's quite a lot. Yeah. I'm so happy about these two. I can really see a use for them. Yeah, me too. So I better paint them up in the near future. 
So, as you can see, the Kickstarter is not only funded, but uh, way above the goal. And actually, it was above the goal within, well, yeah, a few minutes. There are uh, no more early birds, obviously. There were 250 of those, and they all been all gone. But there are still many, many, many miniatures to be had with the regular innkeeper pledge. Uh, it says here 12 miniatures, but uh, as you will see in a moment, there are a lot of free stuff coming in from the stretch goals. Um, but yeah, let's have a look at the, the miniatures in the core set. Uh, we have yeah, the mutant and the nobleman, which we have now in resin, which is nice. Um, I really like the the yeah, bar girl, the wench, wench. I can't speak today. Anyhow, the boatman I really can see a use for too. Um, and a bunch of sitting miniatures, which is great if you want to do a diorama or just be able to set up a tavern for your adventurers to visit. Then there are the stretch gold miniatures, and I really like all of these. I think I especially like the elf cook. Uh, it's the first time I've ever seen somebody sculpt a fat elf, and I like how his clothing is obviously <laughs> made for him when he was thinner. All the original Dunkledorf miniatures. Some pictures of resin masters, painted pictures, stretch goals, here we go. And as you'll notice, a lot of these says free for uh, innkeeper baggers. Um, and then there are some that are add-ons. I really like that halfling too. And this is where we are where we where we are at. <laughs> um and yeah, as it says here, more stretch goals to come. So uh, if you're watching this and you haven't yet, I strongly uh, suggest that you go and uh, and pick up an innkeeper pledge. It's not very expensive and you get a ton of models. And uh, yeah, the more the merrier because I really want to see where uh, what else is coming in the stretch goals. Also, we can have a look at the add-ons. You can buy additional miniatures, special bases, furniture. I'm definitely getting some of this because uh, not only will it suffice for uh, a tavern, but also to uh, make the dungeon rooms more interesting in my dungeon crawling campaign. So I imagine I'll get at least two tables and a set of chairs and a set of benches. At least. Then there are ornate furniture, which is also really lovely. Might get, uh, get the bundle for that. The barrel, which I have now. Uh, not to say I won't want an extra, extra one, but... Uh, and then there is the animals. Oh, also, of course, the meat rack. I'm personally not going to get that, I think. I don't really know what to uh, to use it for, but uh, I think it's really great. Especially if you have the first Kickstarter and you have the Butcher. Then uh, some background for him. And uh, now I'm talking about it, I actually might want to pick it up anyway. And then some classics from the first Kickstarter. So yeah, that's where we're at at the moment. 402 baggers, come and, uh, come and join us. Uh, and let's see what stretch goals they have planned for us. So yeah, that's all for today. A huge thanks to Nigi and Nana from King Games for sending me uh, or us this uh, awesome preview package. And uh, yeah, can't wait to see if uh, if this video helps the Kickstarter along. That would be awesome. So yeah, not much else to say. Till next time, take care and bye bye.